Today we're going to be going over the Ganimo Dynamax. This is just the intro post where we'll go over the basic basic mechanics of the rifle, what comes with the gun, and um, what I just think of the gun overall. Um, so let's just get right into it. The gun <coughs> is priced right around three, about three ninety nine for Pyramid Air right now. Uh, there's places you can get them cheaper. That's just the deal that I jumped on at the time. You give them a 10% discount, you get. As you can see, I have two things that just on the gun right now that are not supposed to, that don't come with the rifle. The first is the Leaper's AccuShot 3 to 12 by 44 side focus scope. Um, I put that on there because I don't like the gamo scope that comes with it the gamo scope that comes with it which is right there it's a it's a good scope it comes with a one piece base but it does not have adjustable parallax which <coughs> air gun guys know that that that's pretty much a necessary item on any air gun scope that we're going to use just because we've got to get uh, that error adjusted out at those closer ranges so I'm going to put that on a deer gun or maybe a, a some kind of powder burner or something like that. Also is the uh, <coughs> Harris bipods. Actually, I think those are Winchester bipods that I might have got from Walmart or something. <coughs> In retrospect, I don't really like the bipods on the gun. It, it balances it differently. And uh, I don't know. It's good for sitting down on stuff, but other than that, it hasn't really helped me out too much. Um, one thing that's going to be noted about the gun... <coughs> is it does have a muzzle brake on it. it that muzzle brake is going to use your standard half inch by 20 uh, UNF threads if we get real close in there we can take it off pretty easily it just comes off <clears throat> and then you can stick your LDC or your moderator or or whatever you want to put on there. There's a couple guys out nowadays making shrouds for them, so if you're worried about the legality of owning one of those devices, <coughs> then maybe the shroud's the best option for you. Moving quick, I want to keep this, uh, want to get you guys to the shooting videos. <coughs> Not about this, uh, just the, just me yammering on like an idiot about the gun, so right here the way the rifle works is really cool actually um, it's, it uses what's called a, a micro cocking system and so basically come back behind here and this is my bolt retain uh, I'm sorry shit my bolt release or bolt bolt some kind of damn bolt lever so you push that <coughs> bolt comes down when it does that, it cycles the magazine. So, you come back up here, and that pushes a pellet in the breech. Then you come over here to this little knobbly, and that's actually the cocking uh, button. So, you press that down. The rifle is now in full battery, it's ready to fire. You can decock the gun by just holding this down, just pushing this down a bit, and pulling on the trigger, and that'll come come back out. Um, if you're gonna do that, make sure you point it at the make sure you point it at the ground guys. I mean we're just common sense shit. The trigger's real nice. Uh, I wouldn't say real real nice, but um, for the price range, you're not gonna get a lot better. It, it it just takes the Marauder trigger and stomps its ass in the ground, um, as far as that goes. Um, mine breaks about one and a half one to one and a half pounds <laughs> anyway so uh, this is your magazine retention button or whatever that's what I call it. it retains the magazine inside the breech so to remove the magazine you press that up you pull your bolt out again make sure that's all the way back and you just pull this little bugger out. <clears throat> this magazine's really cool. Um, 
see this little boss on the end right here there's a little window on the other side this boss has to go through that window for the magazine to be con considered like fully inserted so to load the magazine you're just taking it you're putting a pellet in the in the uh, magazine and you rotate it put a pellet in the magazine rotate it doesn't get any simpler guys this is my favorite magazine by far of all the air guns that I've shot over the years <clears throat> put it back in there make sure the little boss is in there yep it's in there push that button back down push that back in and you're ready to go again it's gonna load a pellet in the breech when you do that but unless the the gun is cocked it's, it's not gonna fire so um, Rockwell also comes with a fill probe. This is that little brass looking thing right now. Pretty sure it is brass, but you can buy a foster fitting from Pyramid Air or um, the local, or not local, but the various, you know, pneumatic dealers over the, over the internet. Um, that's about 10 bucks. I just had one laying around, so I just took it off another fill probe I had. <clears throat> Overall, guys, <clears throat> I'm really digging the gun. For the price range, guys, I think this is one of the best air rifles you're going to find. But don't take my word on it. Watch the next video of the accuracy test and the crony test and see what you think of it in action first before you, know, you do anything. There's not a lot of information out there right now in English that's about the uh, Gamo Dynamax so hopefully this video will kind of help some of you guys out there that are that are looking to get this gun uh, I think it's a really good deal so with that being said guys I'm done with this video and uh, I will see you at the next one